Hey, I'm John Breeze with Therafana Garage from Life Media, and I own a home gym. I know, big surprise, right? Anyway, this is my power rack I've had since 2008, and it's got some limitations, although I love it, and I've had to do a number of modifications to it over the years, and I'm about to show you the latest one. Hey, I don't want you to just watch this video. I need you to like, subscribe, and if you're already a subscriber, I want you to join our channel for 99 cents a month so you can help us improve YouTube for the home gym community. Okay, back to the video. All right, so one of the problems with my power rack is there's not enough weight storage. And ironically enough, that's why I chose this particular model back in 2008 when I got it, because I could put plates on the rack. So as you can see, I got room for the 45s, 35s, 25s, 10s, 5s, and then the two and a half go here, but I've also got one and a quarters. I realize that some people say you should just get rid of the 35s, but I think that's stupid. So anyway, um, going back to what I was saying, these are stacked. These change plates are stacked here. So what I want to do is use something on the rack that I'm not using at all, and I'll show you that right now. All right, so if you look over here, you see that the top J hook lines up with here, okay? Lines up with this hole. This hole doesn't line up with anything. So there's no, nothing I can do with this hole. So it's unused space anyway. And so what I'm gonna do is I went to uh, Home Depot. I'm not gonna go into Lowe's, but Home Depot was closer. And so I got some three quarter inch bolts because these are one inch holes and this is a three by three rack. So this is a three quarter inch bolt and it's seven inches long. All right, and for this, I mean, this is really simple. For this, you need two nuts and two washers. And all you gotta do is you kind of gauge it based upon how much space you wanna have for your change plates. And this is about what I wanted, about four inches right here. Uh, this is a rough estimate, but the width of your hand is about four inches. So about four inches should be fine. All right, so I get there, put a washer on, go into said unused space. But if you come around here and see that it's not quite enough there's not quite enough space here. That's good, that's all right. I'll just screw this out a little bit more so I get to where I've got enough room for the washer, for the nut to get a bite with the washer on it. All right, so this looks pretty good. Grab my washer, stick it on, and then I just add a nut to it. And I mean, I just hand tighten because um, there's not like it's gonna be bearing a lot of weight. Okay, hand tighten, and there you go. Boom. The reason why you wanna have the head of the bolt facing this way is because when you're racking the weights, there's gonna be some vibration and you don't want the plate to jump off. So having the head of the bolt facing this way gives you just enough so this hat can kind of bang into this as you see right here and it'll kind of keep it on. All right, and there you have it. A simple solution using previously unused space. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you'd like to order one of our Garage Gym Life Media 3x2 banners, all you gotta do is click the link that's in our description and you'll be able to grab one for your home gym. Set it off. Thanks for watching, have a good day.